Two weeks and not a drop of rain. I never thought I'd say it, Little Red Tractor, but we could really do with a rainstorm. Or at least the crops could. We'll go and plant these seeds anyway, and I'll get the sprinkler going. Hi, Stan. Hi, Little Red Tractor. We're trying to find water. With that? It's a divining rod. People use them to find water. Well, I hope you find some. We could really do with it. Mum said there used to be a natural spring somewhere near here. We're trying to find it. Oh, I've heard about that. Thought it was near a beach farm, though. Anyhow, I'm off to plant some seeds. Let me know if you find anything. We will. See ya. Bye, Bye Sam. My fields are like concrete, Walter. I do hope it rains soon. I think you're out of luck. My toes always tingle when rain is due, and they haven't tingled for a long while. Really? Now, how about a bottle of something cold while I'm here? I've just the thing. Tingling toes. Whatever next. No oh, thanks, Walter. It's expensive, but very popular. Expensive? But it's only water. Not any old water. It's natural spring water. People can't get enough of it. Well, must get on. Have to get back to work if I'm going to be able to afford another one of these. Good work, little red tractor. Nearly done. This ground is really hard. Hope your suspension's OK. What's it doing? It's twitching, look. That means there must be water close by. I bet it's the Baba Break Spring. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this must be it. It's right under our feet. Uh-oh. I'm sure you have a very good reason for trampling over my beautiful lawn. We're looking for water. We've got a water divining rod and... Well, why don't you do what I do and turn on a tear? We're looking for the Babble Brook Spring. It's a fresh water spring. Mum told us all about it, and we think we found it. Where? Here. Here? Nonsense. Our divining rod thinks it's right here. I don't care where you... Spring, you say? Yes. Fresh water spring? Yes. Hmm. There could be money in finding my own supply of fresh spring water. I could bottle it and sell it at the garage. <clears throat> um, run along now. But... No buts now, shoo. But what about the spring? That sounded like a butt to me. Yeah, but... Uh, 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 uh. Run along then, go and play somewhere else. Spoil sport. I heard that. Strange. Why isn't the sprinkler working? No wonder. Look, I've parked a wheel on the hose. That should do it. Right, Big Blue. This is the spot. So, let's start digging. Oh, my lovely lawn. Still, with the money I shall make from bottling my new spring water, I shall have a hundred beautiful lawns. That's it, Big Blue! Hello. What's the matter? No luck with your water divining. We found water, Stan, didn't we, Ryan? We found the Bubble Brook Spring. Why the long faces, then? Well, you know you said you thought the old spring ran near to Beach Farm? Well, that's what I'd heard. We found it on Mr Jones's lawn, and he wasn't very pleased. <laughs> oh, you know how he loves that lawn. You didn't start digging, did you? Please tell me you didn't start digging. We wouldn't do that. We didn't have a spade. Cheer up. You can help me water the field instead. Can I turn on the sprinkler? No, I want to do it. Perfect. Come on, Big Blue. One more big effort and I'm sure we'll find something. Ah, at last. Could be a well. Come on, one big push. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
I think we may have just burst a water pipe, Big Blue. Ooh, now we are in trouble. That's probably cut off the water supply for the whole neighborhood. Oh. That's strange. The sprinklers stopped. Come on, back to Gosling Farm and let's see what the problem is. That's not right. What's the matter? I was washing down the forecourt and the water just stopped. See? Well, don't point that thing at me. It could go off at any minute. Tell you what, I'll go and see what's up. This is very strange. Nothing. None of the taps work. I'll phone the water people. Maybe there's a problem. How oh, odd. Well, I just thought I felt a drop of rain. It's not raining. It's far too sunny. I just felt something too. Wait a minute. I can hear something and it sounds as if it's coming from Beach Farm. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. What's going on? Um, small problem with the water pipe. Nothing to worry about. I've called the repairman and he'll be here shortly. Nothing to see. Everything's fine. That's the spot. That's where we found the spring. There's a great big hole there. Who dug the hole? What hole? That hole. This hole? Ah, yes. Funny thing, I was, um, just, um, yes. Yes, that's it. I, I was just planting a new tree, you see, and accidentally hit the water main. That's all. What tree? What tree? Hmm. No tree. Oh, all right. I was digging for the Babble Brook Spring. But that's our spring. My garden? My spring. We found it first. Yes. But I dug the hole. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. The real problem is that none of us have any water, and... <laughs> the water's off! We know. Mr Jones has broken the pipe. Oh, looks like I've been a bit of a clot. But the repair people will be here soon, and I'm sure everything will return to normal before you can say Niagara Falls. Ooh. There's a big hole in your garden. Oh. It's a long story. Well, I've just planted seeds that need watering. We're going to have to think of something. Buckets. Buckets? Yes, buckets. If you get some buckets, Stan can take this water to his field and water the seeds. Ah. Buckets. Buckets. Well, what are we waiting for? We'll need a lot of buckets. And a lot of pans. Come on, little red tractor. We've got work to do. Yes, thank you. To you. To you. To me. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, to you. Careful. Well done, everyone. That's the trailer full. We're going to have to be ever so careful, little red tractor. We don't want to spill any. Here? That sounded like thunder. Come to think of it, my toes have started tingling. Tingling toes? You mean it's... going to rain? I don't think we're going to need these buckets after all. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't understand it, Stan. The scarecrow seems to keep the birds away, but every morning I come by and still my crops are damaged. Maybe it isn't the birds. No, it's the birds, all right. I think they wait until I'm not looking. I was out with my torch last night, couldn't spot any of them. Last night? The birds don't... Stan! Stan! Are you there? Sounds like Ryan and Amy. Hello. Where are you two off to, then? Mum's taking us to Bubblebrook to see the lights. Already? But the autumn's hardly over. Guess who's turning on the lights? Hmm, now, let me see. Boombox Hammer! Is that a person? Sounds like a toolbox. Oh, Stan, he's the best! Don't you ever listen to the charts? We thought you'd like to come with us. 
Well, I'm sure Bing Bang... Boombox Hammer! Well, I'm sure Boom What's-His-Name is great, but I have work to do. Thanks for asking, though. OK, we'll try and get you a signed picture. See ya! Bye, Stan! I must be getting old. I don't recognise any of the pop stars these days. You know, Stan, I think I may have just had a brilliant idea. Well, I'll leave you to it, Mr Jones. I have to pick up Little Red Tractor from the garage. Need a lift? No, thank you. The walk will do me good. OK, you pesky crop-eating birds. Ryan and Amy have given me an idea. Hello. Seems a bit quiet. What's a telescope doing here? Stan, how are you? Good. What's with the telescope? Didn't you see it? See what? A UFO. A spaceship? Yeah. There were flashing lights in the sky last night. I saw them clear as day. I think you're going potty. That's funny. That's what Nicola said. Why do you think a spaceship would choose to come to Beach Garage? Maybe they needed petrol. <laughs> <laughs> you, won't, you won't be laughing when I'm in the papers. The first man to photograph a real UFO. Little Red Tractor's all done and he's running better than ever. Thanks, Nicola. He's round the back. Hey! Very funny, Nicola. Sorry, Dad. You really think your spaceship will be back tonight? If it is, I plan to get a good photograph of it. Thanks, Nicola. Call me if you see anything, Walter. Oh, sure, yeah. Come on, then. Work to do. <laughs> Hi there. I thought you were all in Babblebrook for the lights. It was cancelled, I'm afraid. Boobox Hammer's got a sore throat, so he couldn't make it. And then the mayor tried to turn the lights on, and they didn't work. Oh, you do look down in the dumps. Let's see if I can't think of something to cheer you up. But you're not a pop star, Stan. And you don't have any lights. True, but I may have a surprise up my sleeve. Oh, dear, the bulb must have gone. I'll never find anything in here without any light. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I'm full of bright ideas today. <laughs> right, all we have to do is find those other lights. Ah, here we go. Oh, only one light left. I wonder where the others went. It's getting darker. Oh, well, we'll... Um... Hey, hold on. They may have some at the garage. Come on, little red tractor. We'll have to be quick. Walter will be closing soon. Well, that's me all set. You're not really going to sit out here in the cold all night, are you, Dad? I have my flask, Nicola, and my sarnies, and I shall be fine. It's not every day you get to see a UFO. True. Most people never see them at all. Hello. Back so soon? I was hoping you might have some Christmas lights. I want to make a surprise for Ryan and Amy. Oh, you won't believe it, Stan. We sold the last lot this afternoon. Oh, dear. I was hoping to get some this evening. Mr Jones bought them. Five boxes. All we had. Five boxes of lights? Whatever for? Search me. He seemed very excited, though. He's back. It's back. What is? The UFO. And you didn't believe me. Potter, you said. Look. See for yourself. How strange. It's a UFO. I knew it. I've never seen anything like it. It seems to be coming from somewhere over by Beach Farm. Wow. You're right. I'm going to investigate. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and see what's going on. Come on, little red tractor. Don't be a scaredy cat. See you later. Oh, the camera. Oh, oh, the quick. Well, I need to get a photo. Hey. <laughs> now that's funny. That's exactly what happened last night. Ah, now that seems to have done the trick. Are you there, Mr. Jones? Back here, stand by the gate. 
This may seem like a silly question, but what are you doing? Told you about the birds eating my crops Well, I came up with a wizard way to stop them. I can't wait to hear. Well, the scarecrow was working fine during the day, but at night, nothing. So, I remembered the children talking about the Christmas lights and thought... That you'd use the lights to keep the birds off your crops through the night. Precisely. And as you can see, no birds. Mr Jones? Yes? Birds don't come out at night. They sleep. Sleep? Ah, y yes. Uh -huh. Um, they sleep. Of course they sleep, but... but oh, but, but not owls, Tim. They are awake at night eating my crops. Mice. Owls don't eat crops. They eat mice. Uh, so, I am just lighting up my field for no reason. I'm afraid so. Although it does look lovely. Walter at the garage is convinced your light show here is a UFO. What a fool I am. To think I bought five boxes of lights. Not to worry. I'll buy them off you. I have a good use for them. It's a deal, Stan. As, um, <clears throat> as long as you don't tell anyone about uh, the birds and the night thing. Hmm? It may be too late for that, Mr Jones. You've lit up the whole neighbourhood. I... No, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I had a hard job believing it myself. I've never seen a whole field lit up like a Christmas tree before. I'll never forget it. No, will I? I took 36 pictures of it. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. Hard not to with all those lights in the field, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't laugh. Mr Jones was quite upset when I told him birds sleep through the night. Well, at least they can sleep now. I've told Amy and Ryan to come over later and we'll have a turning on ceremony and then roasted chestnuts over a real fire. There. All done. Good. Thanks for your help, Walter. Everything is set. Hi, Stan. Wow, look at all the lights. My, you have been busy. We're all ready for the turning on ceremony. Yeah, switch them on. Actually, we're going to leave that job to our celebrities, Ryan and Amy. All together now? Three, Three two, two, one, go! Wow, it looks great! Thanks, Dan. My pleasure. Now, who wants roast chestnuts? Me! Oh, I nearly forgot. I have one more surprise. What is it? Come on, you two. One more little job for our celebrities. Flick this switch here. Who needs boombox hammer when we have our own shining star? That's it, little red tractor. Keep him coming. Oh, what's that, Uncle Walter? Yeah, that's Stan's traction engine, that is. And today, we're finally going to get him going. Way cool. Oh, yeah? We'll pin your ears back and get a load of this. No, I meant the traction engine. Way cool. And she weighs a cool ten tons, Leo. Traction engines were designed to pull very heavy loads. Well, maybe it could pull us all round a beach farm for Mr Jones' barbecue. Oh, yes. I'd almost forgotten about the barbie. Well, this engine isn't going to pull anything unless we get her going again. Come on, Stan. First of all, we need to fire up the boiler. Boiler? Yeah. This doesn't run on petrol. It's steam-driven. Weird. What time's everyone coming round, Uncle Jasper? They are supposed to be here at about five o'clock, but there won't be much point if I can't get this wretched barbecue together. How's anyone without a degree in mechanical engineering supposed to... Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Where are the instructions again? Here you are, Uncle Jasper. Oh, they're completely incomprehensible. I... Ah. It was upside down. <clears throat> so ridiculous! It says here, so simple a child of five could put it together. Well, don't look at me, Uncle Jasper. I'm eight. Oh, look at that! 
What am I supposed to do that stupid thing? Nah! I will do it. I'm going to keep at it all night if that's what it takes. But Uncle Jasper, everyone will be here for the barbecue soon. Yes, Thomas, I know. Ooh. Oh, the wind blows a windmill, sails around, and in the mill the flour is ground. The flour we use to bake the bread. That keeps all the bread. Hey, hey, will you stop making that racket? Well, sorry, Elsie, I was just fixing Nibra's exhaust. I'm not talking about that noise, Stumpy. I mean that horrible bellowing sound. Well, that was singing. Oh, that's what you call it, is it? <laughs> well, you can sing all the way to Mr Jones's. I've baked some cakes to take to the barbecue, and I want you to take them round there. OK, Elsie, just as soon as I fix... Oh, sorry, Nipper. Oh, the wind blows a windmill around. Stumpy! <laughs> oh. mm. I don't get it. It's got up a good head of steam, but it's just not working. Pressure's looking good, Stan. Still no luck? Not yet. I'll take a look underneath, see if there's any loose connections in the pipes. Anyone check the valve chest? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Still got it. Great stuff, Nicola. What did you do? Nothing. Nah, it was me, Stan. Not lost the old touch, eh? <laughs> Gave the old valve chest a whack and box. Stan? Stan? I can't stop it. Hang on, Nicola. Gotcha. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Nicola, jump. I can't. It'll run riot through Babble Brook. Leave this to me and Little Red Tractor. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them. And then we'll... We'll... We'll think of something. There. Wasn't that difficult after all? Uh, are you sure that's how it's supposed to look? It is a bit, um, isn't it? Still, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Now to fire it up. Uncle Jasper. Turn on the gas. I don't think it's very good. And light it. Oh, dear. Uncle Jasper, is the barbecue off? I rather think it is. Walter sells those throwaway barbecues at his garage. Good thinking, Thomas. Of course, that's what we'll do. To blaze us with this heap of old scrap metal, let's go and get ourselves some proper barbecues. Any luck? No! It looks like it's stuck in go mode! <laughs> Don't worry, Nicola. I'll get the gate. Come on, little red tractor. Phew! That was close. Oh, the wind blows a windmill, sails around and in the Stop middle of the... Oh, oh, Look oh. out! Nicola, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. But you've got to stop the traction engine. It's going straight towards Mr. Jones's house. Wow! Quick, little red tractor. What happened? Got to stop it. Easy does it, little red tractor. Okay. Now, brake. That's it. You're holding her. The valve chest, Nicola. Try doing what Walter did. Well done, Nicola. Great stuff, little red tractor. Well, I don't reckon Mr Jones is going to think it's brilliant when he sees what you've done to his barbecue. Oh, no. I guess we'll just have to own up. Mr Jones? Uh, Mr Jones? Mr Jones? I don't think he's here. Must have popped out for something. Well, in that case, we might just get away with it, Stan. <laughs> Reckon we can put it back together as good as new. Hello! Why, of all the selfish... It is Sunday, Uncle Jasper. Yes, but I need those barbecues. I need some tits. Oh, what's the use? Come on, Thomas. We'll just have to tell everyone the barbecue's off. 
<laughs> like I said, he'll never know the difference. Phew. And now you and I have got a spot more work to do, little red tractor. Nicola, can you steer the traction engine again while little red tractor tows her back to Gosling Farm? That's it, little red tractor. Not looking forward to telling everyone the barbecue's off, I can tell you, Thomas. Not looking forward to it one little... Uncle Jasper, look! What on earth? But how? Come on, then. All aboard and let's get to that barbie. Hmm. Nice barbie you've got there, Mr. Joe. Yes, it's a kit job, you know. They say they're hard to assemble, but me, well, put it together in no time at all. Ah, Stumpy and Elsie, good to see you. Mr. Jones here was telling me these things are a doddle to put together. Well, not a doddle, exactly. It does take a mechanical mind, a fair bit of technical know-how, a bit of expertise. Oh, it wasn't that hard, Mr. Jones. No, surprisingly simple, actually, on the, uh, the, on the, on the, the... What? You mean... I've got a confession to make. I'm afraid that earlier on I had a bit of an accident with it. But I hope we put it back together again OK. You mean... You put it together? It's lucky you did, Stan, when Uncle Jasper tried, it kept falling apart, didn't it? So, um, you didn't put it together then, Mr. Jay? No, I, I, well, I, I, I think the sausages are just about ready, don't you? <laughs> Come and get it! Yeah, oh, great, it it's 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 Jay. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter who made the barbie, just so long as there's plenty of lovely grub. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.